I'm Major Jafar here and this is my 2018 Dodge Challenger TA392. I have this car for two years now and I've put 27,000 miles on it. A lot of miles I know, but it's a lovely car to drive. And today I'm going to just go ahead and tell you guys about some experiences I have with the car. And it's my baby. So I might be biased, but I'm going to give you some honest thoughts about it and some uh, things that I think there's problems with the car. So just bear with me and hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so I said I have 27,000 miles on this car, right? There are a lot of things that I love about it. One of the things is like the driving experience is amazing. I've, I've driven Camaros and Mustangs before, but it's a big car, yes, but it gives you that feeling of you owning the road. Uh, it's, it's really enjoyable to drive. My car is a six-speed manual, and one of the things I did was uh, the gear shifter that came with the car was actually a long throw. Like I've said a couple of times, if you want to go from two to third, you have to go from one galaxy to another. It was it was long. I installed a short shifter from Barton and that made a huge difference. It was like a day and night difference. Really nice to drive, really nice with bank gears. It was amazing. And uh, other thing is, I painted the calipers red because the uh, the one that it came with was actually uh, a gray color. I didn't like it that much. It was like black on silver on gray. So I was like, let me give it a uh, like a different theme to it, a different color to it. So it's sitting pretty good. And also like I had my wheels coated, but that was like two years ago. One other thing that I love about this car is. Actually, I said already how big it is. You can actually fit five people in there. I took the car, uh, first time I got it, I took it to the Ocean City Cruise Week. Uh, me and my boys sat in the car and we all went for a spin. I mean, they made fun of me because, you know, I'm sailing a boat, but haha, you get a joke. But uh, it, it was nice to drive this car. Uh, when it comes from the factory, the sound is actually pretty nice, but hopefully I have some videos, so uh, I'm gonna play it now. But I had my uh, mid muffler deleted and actually had my resonator deleted too so it sounds not as it used to sound it's a little bit more aggressive but still the active valves work pretty good so uh, it doesn't make my neighbors to hate me like a lot I mean they hate me now but not too much same thing I don't like about it is that uh, the car came with this appearance package kind of the matte black hood uh, a matte black like roof and the uh, deck lid I'm gonna show you in a second it's really hard to maintain like uh, there was actually like a piece of paper and glove box I didn't see it yeah dong dong I didn't see it so I took the car through the car with and I was like damn I already messed it up but uh, I try to maintain it pretty good. You're not supposed to put wax on it or like take it to like, uh, as I said, conventional car wash. The only thing you have to do is like actually uh, wash it with soap and water. One of other things that I installed on the car was Taser from Z Automotive. 2018 was the last year that Dodge uh, had the SRT392, which was a model uh, of this car and a model behind the Hellcat at the time. So they had SRT pages, which had like track mode, sport mode, uh, valet mode, eco mode, uh, if you have automatic, and also an auto mode. So my car in 2018 and all the scat packs, uh, I mean, I paid as much as an SRT 392, but basically got a scat pack. So I had to install the taser. So I got the line lock and SRT pages and I could actually turn my car on in track mode which then gonna piss out of my neighbors they're gonna hate me I think they already do all right guys now that we are behind the car which is the pretty side of the car 
I mean, who doesn't like it, right? Uh -huh. Uh, just want to show you like one of the things that I changed uh, behind the car was like, I mean, it was a gift, but it used to be a Dodge Bash here. I took it off and put a T on it. So it looks a little better. One other thing that I want to mention is that I actually increased the size of the tire in the rear axle. When I got the car, it came with 275 uh, 40R20s, which was like uh, good wheels and good tires, but uh, you could not get traction with those. So 305, I got BF Goodrich on them. And they're actually pretty good. They stick to the ground and I never had any problems with it. Unless like, you know, you uh, rev it too high and the RPM goes too high and then you drop the clutch and then we're gonna get a little bit of, you know, sending it to Mexico and back. Other than that, uh, everything else is like a stock car and I'm loving the car. I mean, uh, it's been two years and have had complaints which I'm gonna go through them in a second but other than that it's just been joy and happiness all right so I talked about all the things that I like about the car the things that I changed on the car and uh, now it's the time about like some truth and uh, problems that I had with the car uh, the biggest problem that I have with the car is the ticking noise that I get from the engine I took it to different dealers around my area and uh, first time it was diagnosed with a bad throttle buddy second time uh, they told me it's the PCN so they changed and the third time when I took it with the same problem they actually didn't do anything and they were like we're gonna open up a, a star case for you no other I tried to call uh, FCA and one thing that I don't like about FCA their customer service is really bad it's like really bad so that's one of the things I actually didn't have a good experience about it but everything else been pretty good uh, love the ride of the car and just been great two years uh, I'm gonna show you guys some interior shots and uh, maybe I'll take you guys for a little drive too to experience the sound of the engine inside the car and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it if you did uh, make sure to subscribe Hit the notification bell and comment in there for me. How do you like the new look? I just shaved my beard. I might actually post a video about shaving my beard, but I don't know. If you guys like it, just let me know. I'm going to do it. And I'll see you guys next time.